welcome to Planning with Crystal. Today's video is a Nespresso, how to make the perfect iced coffee in any Nespresso machine. Whether it's Virtuo or Original Line, you can make the perfect easy iced coffee and I'm going to show you how. So I'm using the Virtuo Pop machine, but you can use whichever machine you've got. And you're going to end with this nice tasty coffee at the end. And of course, you can put a bit of milk in there if you prefer as well. So let's get into it. Step one is all about the water tank and this is the most important step. You're going to fill it up with ice cubes. I've done it with some of the Nespresso ice cubes, but you can of course use any of the ice cubes you want. You're also going to want to top this off with cold water as well, because what we're trying to do here is we're trying to put cold water into the machine to produce cold water at the other end, or cold coffee at least. Because if you don't cool down the water, then when the water comes out the other end, it's going to be your standard hot coffee. And you don't want that for iced coffee. So top that off there with some cold water as well. Obviously, you're going to want to put the lid back on and attach it to the machine. This is one of the Nespresso Virtuo pot machines, but like I said, it will work with any of the Nespresso machines. Ideally, you'll give it a couple of minutes to kind of cool itself down before you go ahead and make your coffee. So you want a glass with ice, however you want to do that, or you could do it in one of their kind of takeaway cups. I've got um, an old Nespresso takeaway cup here, or you can use whatever you want to put your iced coffee in. In terms of the coffee itself, you can go ahead and get really specific capsules that are made to make iced coffee. So this one here is Ice Forte. It's for uh, the virtual machine but again they do them in the original and this one is the tropical coconut flavor as well but if you don't want to use one of these specific ones for iced coffee you can use a regular capsule and basically just make it according to your taste so obviously we're going to open up the coffee machine i'm going to go for the coconut one on this occasion close it down obviously using the machine according to whichever one you've got and then you are going to make sure your cup is lined up under the nozzle there and just press the button for it to start now one thing you will notice when you're doing this with iced water is it is going to take a lot longer for the coffee to actually come through the machine and into the cup and that's just because the coffee itself is coming through cold but this way you're going to get an actual iced coffee instead of a hot coffee that you've got to kind of water down and cool down later. Definitely always recommend though putting the ice in the cup as well just so that it comes out nice and icy and cold. going to kind of drip through like that and you're going to think why is my coffee not coming through as it normally does but like I said it is just because that water is cold so it's pushing through the ice cold water have it that perfect iced coffee which kind of looks like a cup of guinness but there you go you can of course add any milk you might want to add or you can have it as a nice black coffee if that's your way of drinking it so the most important thing to remember is to use ice cold water lots of ice cubes in that water tank and to give it a good few minutes before you dispense your drink and of course don't forget to put some ice cubes in the glass as well so i hope you've enjoyed watching today's video i have got a whole host of other nespresso videos up on the channel let me know what you'd like to see next and everything will be linked in the description box as well thank you so much for watching bye guys